Today, we are going to share additional mounting options and show you how to adjust the guidance lines on your BC40. The BC40 backup camera is commonly mounted at the top of the license plate on the back of a vehicle. However, other mounting options may be required to suit your vehicle or state regulations. You must avoid covering any text or numbers on the license plate. Some jurisdictions prohibit covering any portion of the license plate. It is your responsibility to follow license plate mounting regulations. You may choose to mount your BC40 at the bottom of your license plate to suit your vehicle. This does require you to remove the BC40 mount from the bracket. To do this, fully loosen the two adjustment screws, flip the mount, and retighten the two screws. Your BC40 also included two pieces of double sided adhesive in the box. As an option, you can apply one or two layers of the included mounting tape to the back of the mounting bracket behind the camera. This helps reduce camera vibration, especially if your vehicle does not provide mounting holes at the bottom of your license plate. Your BC40 can also be mounted on the front of your vehicle. Some vehicles benefit from having a camera displaying what is directly in front of the vehicle, out of view from the cab. You may choose to disable the guidance lines when mounting the BC40 to the front of a vehicle. To disable guidance lines, select the menu bars, followed by guidance lines, and uncheck the box to disable guidance lines. The image on your screen will appear reversed when mounting the camera to the front of your vehicle. Your Garmin Navigator should be adjusted so the image displays in the same way you see it. This can be done from the camera view by selecting the menu bars, followed by flip video, and mirror video. You also have the option of adjusting the camera angle on your BC40. To adjust the camera angle, begin by removing the BC40 from the mount. Next, loosen the adjustment screws just a bit. You can then adjust the camera angle to the position you prefer. Tighten the screws and replace your BC40 making sure it is securely attached. Then, check the view on your navigator to ensure it is the view you prefer. After you adjust the camera angle, you must align the guidance lines. If you previously set up the guidance lines, they are not accurate after the camera angle changes. Failure to properly align the guidance lines could result in an accident or collision, resulting in death, serious injury, or property damage. To adjust the guidance lines, position your vehicle with the driver's side closely aligned with a curb, driveway, or parking lines. This allows you to use the lines in the rear of the vehicle as reference points. From the camera view, select the menu bars, guidance lines, and adjust guidance lines. Use the arrows in the corner of the screen to move the guidance lines to match the angle and position of your reference points. Use the arrows in the center of the screen to move the lines up and down. The red section of the line should be aligned with the rear of your vehicle. Reposition the vehicle with the passenger side closely aligned with your reference points and repeat the process. And that's it. You have now successfully aligned your guidance lines. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.